Okay, this video is about saving a CSV file from a spreadsheet application like Excel and preserving or setting the encoding of that CSV file so that we preserve the characters correctly. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we need some content that has characters that we can preserve and make sure that they come through correctly. So here I've gone to the Dominican Republic Department of Education website and we're going to grab this text here and that will be what we use to test. First let's open Excel. We'll create a new spreadsheet. We'll paste that content in and we can see the characters look correct just as they came from the source. So first we're going to save this as a Excel workbook and then reopen it and verify that the content looks correct. So here we're saving it as an Excel workbook and then we will close Excel and reopen it and verify that everything looks like it should. So we'll just go ahead and reopen that and that looks correct. Perfect. So now we're going to save this as a CSV file and then do the same test. So we'll go to the file save as and now we are going to choose CSV as our format. Under the Tools menu, we choose Web Options, Encoding, and we want to select UTF-8. There are a variety of options here, but the one we want is UTF-8 to preserve the encoding that came from our source. So we'll select that, and that looks good, and we'll save that. So now we need to close Excel and open this CSV file and check to see if the content looks unchanged. So we'll go ahead and close Excel, reopen this using Excel, and we see the characters don't look correct. Something's happened. And let's open this up in Sublime Text and we see the same thing. Yep, indeed, the characters have been modified. And the end result of this is if you were loading this content into a database like MySQL, this would fail. It would tell you that this is an um, incorrectly encoded character. OK, so now let's continue. We're going to do the same thing, this time using LibreOffice Calc. Go back to our source, copy the text, paste it in, and save it. Close Office Calc and reopen it. This is why Windows is stupid. And the characters look unchanged, so that's perfect. Now let's save it as a CSV. We will choose CSV and click Save. Yes, we want CSV. We want the encoding to be UTF-8, just like we set in Excel. We'll click OK, and we'll close that. We should have our untitled CSV file. Now let's just te test this in Sublime Text real quick. We'll open it up and see if it looks wonky like it did for Excel, and it does not. So these characters are correct, so that's a good sign. So let's open this with LibreOffice Calc. And this is interesting. I like that it's asking us what character set to interpret it as. And that looks correct. So let's open this with Excel. And wow, that's just, that's uh, all over the place. That's really bad. I, I, have, I have no words for that. Let's open this first one with 
office calc, it should look exactly the same. It's asking us what to encode it as, and it's saying it's not going to look good. And it doesn't. So even though Office Calc is giving us the option to interpret it, when we open it, it's saying that however it was encoded, it can't be deciphered. But that when we save our UTF content using Office Calc, we do get the correct characters out and this text will load correctly into a database like Excel, like MySQL. So this used to work in Excel. It worked last year, but now I am on Excel 365 and it simply doesn't work. And this is about the limit of my patience for trying to debug a problem like this. So I think this really does mean if you are using Excel to update, to create CSV files, perhaps someone gives you an Excel document and you need to export the different tabs as CSV and then import them into a database. Unfortunately, you really have to use Office Calc because Excel can no longer be trusted to encode correctly. If you know otherwise, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.